welcome to Bad Gear, the show about the world's most hated audio tools. After the release of the much debated OG Base Station episode, I wanted to try out some novation gear that doesn't seem to fall apart upon touch. Fortunately, I found another controversial synthesizer created by the iconic British brand in the local classifieds for, what I would say, a very reasonable price. The Novation CO Synth 25. Identical to the 49 keys version, the CO25 offers an 8 voice virtual analog synth engine, very similar to the AK and X station with a few added features in a more affordable and compact package. I remember that I really wanted to have a CO when it hits the market in 2007, because it seemed to fulfill all my electronic music production needs. Simpler times. At the first glance, the CO is a jack of all trades. Classic digital innovation BA synth sounds, lots of hands-on controls, including one of those Zero Years Acer laptop-style touchpads and a pitch-mod joystick. Novation included a sound card and a control surface for Logic 7, Cubase SX3 and Live 5. It isn't hard to understand the basic principles of the user interface, but most of the time you can get away with semi-randomly pushing buttons and twisting knobs. The synth offers an extensive FX section, an arpeggiator and the X Gator, a rhythmic gate that lets me think of Balls to the Wall Trance and Timbaland R&B. Those among you who can actually play them keyboards will appreciate the sustained pedal input. Compared to the OG bass station, build quality went from wobbly to flimsy. It seems like Novation didn't make a lot of friends when they released the seal. But does it really deserve all the heat it gets on the internet? You have already heard the seal in our little Michael Nyman homage. The sound character is bright, in your face and reminds me of the Microcorp XL that came out two years after the little Novation keyboard. Let's test drive some of the many features of the seal in this almost battery powered setup. The is not a moog, but the sounds are fun to play and tweak. I couldn't find any drivers for the audio interface that are compatible with my laptop, but the class compliant mode worked ok, albeit with greater latency. I would love to use the synth and its x gator effect in a doorless jam with the OG base station, but no MIDI in. Please ignore the laptop acting as a MIDI through box. Another testament to the versatility of the seal. The XY pad is nice for some quick and dirty tweaks, but it has its limitations when working on more delicate sounds. The X gator is easy to set up and I'm still waiting for those rhythm gate effects to come back in style. I really like the seal's pad sounds. Let's listen to one of those classic novation tones in this laid back shuffle groove.
Station is not the only manufacturer who took a tried and tested digital synth engine and recycled it into compact units of questionable quality during the zero years. Korg turned the Radius into the MicroKorg XL a little later and while not a synth in the traditional sense of the word, Roland released their MC505 on Happy Pills, the D2, a few years earlier. Those devices let me go through three phases. 1. WTF is this. 2. Damn it sounds really nice and 3. Who put the V8 engine into this Mitsubishi Mirage or Chevrolet Spark? As the keyboard playing noob that I am, I don't care much about the quality of the keypad, but the CEO's keys are, without a doubt, an insult to humanity. What is more, I wouldn't want to use the audio interface and its drivers for professional music production. The CEO is maybe the ideal synth for a longer trip through tropical countries. It's compact and lightweight, it offers everything you need for making music, you don't care that much about build quality and drivers when chilling at the beach and drinking coconut water, and my heart would not break if the CEO was either stolen by the Angkor Wat monkeys or puked on by western tourists at a full moon party on Koh Phangan. Thanks for watching and see you next time! Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode, feel free to like and subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment what other kind of gear you would like to see and hear on the show.